Welcome back to At Your Pace Online's Michigan Real Estate Education Series. In this class, we'll be discussing titles and deeds. We'll begin by reviewing the concept of the bundle of rights before moving on to a discussion of titles and title searches. From there, we'll take another look at non-possessory interests and title clouds. Then, we'll also talk about title insurance and examine transfers of title. We'll also address the purpose of a deed and the kinds of deeds that can be employed. Next, we'll cover a special kind of property transfer called a 1031 exchange. Finally, we'll finish up with an exploration of Michigan laws and regulations governing deeds and titles. Real estate agents handle the transfer of property on a regular basis. This is why it's critical to understand what titles and deeds are, as well as their significance to the real estate business. Title is the right to or ownership of something. Title can be related to any piece of property, from warehouses to automobiles, but our discussion will focus on titles for real property. A property title is the primary mechanism for securing the right to own and control a piece of property. This often takes the form of a legal document, such as a deed or a bill of sale, that details the rights and privileges of the title holder. Titles can be classified based on whether they're marketable or insurable. A marketable title is a property title that is considered free from defect. Therefore, the possibility of litigation is eliminated. There may still be encumbrances on the title, but they would be ones of which the parties are aware, such as liens or easements. The title is, in other words, clear enough to sell at a fair market price. An example would be a house in a neighborhood with a large community play area for the neighborhood children. Several of the houses surrounding the play area may have walkways towards the play area that cut through the corners of their properties. While this may not make their houses the most desirable lot in the neighborhood, and it actually may reduce the value somewhat, it certainly doesn't make the house unmarketable. On the other hand, an insurable title is one with major defects that wouldn't be considered clear enough to sell at a fair market price. The important factor here is that a title insurance provider has taken the defects into account and has agreed to issue title insurance coverage. While the title may be far from clear and marketable, a title insurance company has determined that the risk from these defects is low enough to make it worth providing title insurance. An insurable title is imperfect but still safe enough to transfer. An example of a property with an insurable title would be a house that is in the last five years of a 30-year mortgage. Due to the age of the mortgage, it's less likely that there will be a default that will result in the lender making a claim for ownership of the property. For this reason, a title insurance company will likely be willing to offer title insurance coverage. A title that isn't marketable and not insurable shouldn't be transferred until the major outstanding defects are addressed. In other words, sellers shouldn't try to sell and buyers shouldn't try to buy a property with an unmarketable and uninsurable title. To be clear, the title isn't the same as the estate. The estate is the bundle of rights associated with a particular property and governs what a person can and can't do with that property. The title is the legal evidence and proof that a person actually owns a property. When ownership is transferred from one person to another, the title is what is actually transferred. This goes back to our discussion about the nature of real estate. Land and often structures cannot be moved. so. The seller of a piece of real estate can't pick the property up and hand it to the buyer. What is transferred is the ownership of the real estate. Since ownership is evidenced by the title, the title is actually the thing that is being handed to the new owner. That's good enough to start with. Let's dive into the first segment and discuss titles and what it means to do a title search.